guys, we got a huge announcement. Two huge announcements. The first one should be pretty obvious. So in my previous video, I had bought a new Red Grom. It was a price that I just I could not refuse. So I bought a new 2018 Red Grom, new to me anyway, and I fixed it all up. I sold it. So my second big announcement, which you could probably get by now, is that I spent the money on another bike. A really dirty but awesome Yamaha FZ07. It is a 2016 and it's got 8,500 miles on the thing. Again, I got it for a price that I could not refuse, so I just took the money I got from the Red Grom and rolled it right into this. Taking inventory of the bike, it's really, really cool that it's got a uh, Yoshimura full system. I immediately noticed that uh, it's probably been down on its right side. So there's some pretty serious damage to this Yoshimura pipe. I've already got a quote from Yoshimura to send this in and they will refurbish it for me. I think it's gonna be about $125. That's well worth it for me. I'm gonna polish up these pipes right here while it's gone. It's got a coolant leak and I suspect, it's, it's actually very cryptic. It's hard to tell exactly where it's from, but it drips down from right here. I've ordered a gasket for the water pump housing. These two gaskets right here. So I'm hoping that'll do the trick because those are cheap. It looks like he replaced the plastics here and then he did not replace the decal. So that's another thing that I have ordered. From a mechanical standpoint, it's got nothing wrong with it. So I'm gonna do the spark plugs. I'm gonna wash the bike, change the oil, top off the coolant and rip this thing around until all the other parts come in. And then I'm gonna systematically go through and do all the other honeydews that this poor bike needs. Restore her back to her beautiful self. So stick around guys, grab something comfy, grab a snack, and you're gonna watch me do some maintenance on this thing and uh, you'll see a joyride. I told you it leaks coolant. Yoshimura, buddy. That is better, like brand new. We were just starting to have some fun in this here bolt right here on the right side of the bike. Strip. It was already stripped. I tried to get in there with it. Now it's really stripped. Well guys, last night sucked. So I went to the hardware uh, store today, got an extractor. I'm getting proactive here and went and got some more push rivets too, in case I break these. Oh! <laughs> That's crazy, right? <laughs> oh! Stop, bro! k in!
we got? So I pulled the snorkel. It does still have a snorkel. That's great news. There is a cane in here. I was expecting to see a dirty cotton gauze filter, like white colored. This is brand new. It's oiled. Everything looks good. I might throw some more spray on oil just for kicks, but... Look at it! So I gotta get this coil up through here and then down six inches into that head is bingo. Let's see, can you guys see that? So there's coil number one. Right there, check it out. That's how deep that thing is down there. Okay guys, so here's the secret weapon. I read this on a forum. You take some quarter inch irrigation line and it will actually attach to the top and you can safely drop this thing down into the, uh, into the head and get this in perfectly instead of just dropping it down and having it hit the bottom and possibly lose the gap. See that stuff, you can clearly see that there is some sort of adhesive in there holding this stuff together. That's a little frustrating. Up close, this header has a lot of imperfections. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna see if I can't clean this thing up a little bit with some Never Dull Original. That is a lot better. You guys can see that, I'm sure. My gosh, so much better. So I'm gonna throw these back on the bike. Oh fam, what came in the mail today? Let's see if I can just open this, it's stapled. Oh, oh wow, they made it a lot smaller, didn't they? Just kidding, that's the silencer, and I am gonna run the silencer, I don't care what anybody says. Oh, you guys. It looks brand new. Well, as usual over here in CT Grommer's garage for this whole project, the camera died again, but I just went ahead and buckled down and got this thing on there. It looks absolutely amazing on the bike. I'm so glad that I cleaned it up a little bit more too, because it just looks absolutely amazing. I went ahead and cleaned up the hardware too, so the hardware even looks brand new. Even the springs, I cleaned up the header. So this whole exhaust project is done. Unfortunately, we didn't get the uh, water pump housing O-rings done, if you remember. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up right now, and um, we're gonna see if it leaks coolant. Hopefully it doesn't. to show you guys this really sucks so we're up here to 167 and I'm already seeing it here we go so it's it's leaking as you can see right from right from here you guys see 
that it's dripping down actually even worse. You can actually see it. So that sucks. I'm not going to ride it because it's uh, that's a pretty bad trip. It's going to get all over the exhaust again, and I don't want that. So unfortunately, I guess this is just going to have to go to the shop. Hey guys, finally got the bike back from the local Honda shop. Found out this thing is under warranty until March of 2021. So the original owner bought this thing and put a five-year warranty on it. So all of the uh, all of the water pump issues here, which I guess was significant, they had to they replaced the whole assembly and popped off the whole clutch side and rebuilt it. Zero dollars, all under warranty. I am so freaking lucky. I had no idea when I bought this bike that it was under warranty. I'm actually not sure if the seller that sold it to me knew that it was under warranty because he did not mention it. Thank you so much for watching all of this. I am gonna hop on the bike now for you guys to see me ride it. This will be my first significant ride uh, with everything complete. All right, guys, CT Grommer finally out on the long-awaited FC07 ride. Oh, man. It's a brisk, cold day. It's hard to believe that this has been like a week and a half or a two-week project total here, guys. Okay, guys, the moment of truth. We're at 178 degrees Fahrenheit, which is operating temp for this bike. Can confirm. No coolant leak. That's awesome. I feel so good, I'm gonna celebrate with. All right, let's go. What I notice about this bike, just initially, is it's like, it's got two personalities. There's this uh, duality on this bike that exists where if you stay below five grand, it's almost got this cruiser type feel. Oh, it's got some engine brake. It's got this cruiser type feel where it's just kind of going to lull, not lull you to sleep, but it's just really, really rideable. You know, if you stay below half throttle and at like five grand, like, like this. It's got a really, really nice feel and it just, it doesn't feel like it wants to get away from you. I mean, you really gotta try, you gotta get it up to eight or nine grand before the bike changes to its second personality, which is like a, a sport bike and a, just a torque monster all of a sudden. You know, like if you, just there we were starting to get into the power band. Here we go, so we're in first. I'm gonna take it up and get it into some high RPM so you can see what I'm talking about. Guys, coming from a DRZ 400 and a Grom, this thing feels like like a time machine. It's so fast. All the leader bike guys are laughing at me right now. All we have is perspective, and from my perspective of a 400 DRZ and a Grom, this thing is fast. I love the sound. How could this bike cut? I mean, new this bike's like 7,500 or eight grand and it sounds unbelievable with the, with the full exhaust. It's a crime not to have a full exhaust on these bikes. Again, it's like two personalities. Down low, it's just got this low rumbling, almost like a cruiser. And then you get into the uh, high RPMs and it, all of a sudden it's a sport bike. It, you get like two bikes in one here. It's, it's crazy. And it's got the ergonomics of a standard bike, which makes it amazing because you're just, you're comfy the whole time. You're sitting upright. That's a game changer for me. The sport bike thing, I don't think I could ever do. I've got buddies with sport bikes and I've ridden them but it just puts you in such a funky ergonomic spot, which is only fun when you're bombing hills or when you're going fast. But if you're just cruising around town, which is most of my riding, screwing around about town, it's just, uh, it's not that fun riding a sport bike, but a standard bike like this upright is a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. 
What I really want to drive home about this bike and my initial is if you just stay in half throttle, this bike is so comfy to ride. It doesn't feel like it wants to get out from under you. The power's not overwhelming. It's extremely linear. I mean, you really have to get into it to get into the power. It's an extremely friendly bike. Any rookie could ride this bike. I really feel that way. If you've got just an ounce of throttle discipline, you can ride this bike. And that's important. That's very important. That's what makes this bike very successful. That and its cheap price point. More Grom videos coming soon. I got rid of the red Grom, but still got my favorite, the black Grom. So look for more videos on that. I got a couple reviews coming up uh, with Kimi Moto. Bought some stuff that I really, really like, enough to do a review on. So look for those coming. And uh, who knows, again, like I said about the Red Grom, who knows about the fate of this bike, guys? I have three bikes again, and I can't have three bikes. So we'll see what happens with this bike. But for now, it's fun to ride, that's for sure. Guys, if you like what you saw here today, please consider subscribing to the channel. Each subscriber means the world to me, and it encourages me to keep creating content. As usual, if you have any questions, anything, even if it's a negative thing to say, comment below. I always respond. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope everybody's having a great day. Ride safe. CT Grommer out.